OK, so ladies and gentlemen, um, if two angles are congruent, then they are vertical. So let me go into Ariel. What type of statement is this? And very good, that is correct. Now, why do we know that this is a conditional, Imani? Do you know why? What are the characteristics of a conditional that we know that make it a conditional? So what to make to look at something true, what do we have to look at? What are we trying to define? Does everyone remember? Anybody? Ariel, I'll go back to you. So to make this a conditional, what makes it a conditional statement? How do you know it's a conditional? It has the hypothesis and the conclusion. And what did we label the hypothesis? Does anybody remember? We gave it a letter notation. P. And what about the conclusion? Yes, kind of. Q. And how do we know that the hypothesis is in front? Because the hypothesis always follows the what, Aiden? What does the hypothesis always follow? It's a word that we put up there. The hypothesis always follows the if. Right? If and a then. So Ariel, to answer your question, or Imani to answer your question, we know this is a conditional statement because it's in the form of if then. If P, then Q. That's in its conditional form. All right? So therefore, you can say the hypothesis is two angles are congruent. Then their two angles are vertical. Okay? So that is how you determine if it's a conditional statement or not.